Have you heard about simultaneous equation with fractions? Yes. Uh, so what? I don't like it. Would you love to learn how to solve them? I just told you I don't like it. You're asking me if I, I would like to learn it. I don't like equations. I don't like fractions. Now you combine the two. Would I like to learn it? See, you're looking for my trouble. You're getting it here. I've had enough. I can fight too. I can fight too. In short, let me get out of here. Ah. Yay. Ah. Okay. I would like to learn how to solve it. Was that you? Don't wait until you get attacked by a problem before you solve it. Always confront the problem. Hello, it's Chine Ranu here. And in today's class, we are going to be learning how to solve simultaneous equation with fractions using elimination method. A lot of us are familiar with solving something like this. But how about when you have fractions involved? Let's take a look at some examples for clarity. So how do you go about solving something like this? Take a look at the two terms. You're going to notice that we have denominators, okay? So, so the first step is to find the LCM of the first equation. So we are going to have x over 2 plus y over 4 is equal to half. So what is the LCM of 2, 4, and 2? It is 4. So now that we've gotten the LCM, the next thing we do is to use the LCM to multiply each term. We multiply this, we multiply this, and we multiply this. So we are going to have 4 times x over 2 plus 4 times y over 4 equals to 4 times half. We divide 2 here, it goes 1. 4 divided by 2 goes 2. 4 divided by itself, 1. 4 divided by itself, we have 1. 2 divided by itself, 1. 2 divided by 4, we have what, 2. Now that we've done this, let's multiply it out. We have 2 times x gives us 2x plus 1 times y gives us y equals to 2. So you can see we have succeeded in making it look like the normal equation we are used to. We have eliminated the fraction. So this gives us equation 1. So let's do the same thing for the second equation. For the second equation, we need to find the LCM of 3, 5, and 9. So 3, 5, 9. It goes here 1, 5, 3, 3, 1, 5, 1. 5, 1, 1, 1. So we have 3 times 3, 9. 9 times 5, 45. So our LCM is 45. So we multiply by the denominator 45. So we have x over 3 times 45 minus y over 5 times 5 equals to 1 over 9 times 45. So we are going to have 3 go here 1, 3 goes here 15. 5 divided by 7, 5, 45 divided by 5 gives us 9. 9 divided by 7, 45 divided by 9 gives us 5. Now we have succeeded in eliminating the denominators. Let's express it out. So 15 times x gives us 15x. Minus y times 9 gives us minus 9y equals to 1 times 5 gives us Five. So we have equation 2. Now we have arrived at this, we can easily solve using elimination method. So once we get to this stage, the next thing we want to do, we want to equate this, we want to equate this, or equate this. You can choose any one. The aim of doing that is to eliminate one so that we can find either the value of x or y. So in this example, we are going to be using this. So to equate it, we think of a number that we can multiply by the two terms so that we can have the same number. So you have y, you have 9y. You don't need to sweat it. All you need to do for the first equation, you use 9. So we multiply this by 9 and we multiply this by 1. So 9 times 2x 
gives us 18x. Then 9 times plus y gives us plus 9y equals to 9 times 2 gives us 18. We have equation 3. Then here we say 1 times 15x gives us 15x. Then 1 times minus 9y gives us minus 9y equals to 1 times 5 gives us 5. Equation 4. So now we have succeeded in equating it. The next thing we need to do, we need to think of what sign do we put here, okay? You have to be careful of the sign you put here so that we can have nothing here. We can have zero because this is what we want to eliminate. So if you say plus 9, if you put a plus here and you say plus 9 plus minus 9, you're going to have 9y minus 9y. So that's why we put a plus here. Okay, so you have 18x plus 15x gives us 33x. Then by the time you say my plus 9y plus minus 9y, it gives us zero. Okay, so we have nothing here, which is equals to 18 plus 5 gives us 23. Now let's divide both sides by the coefficient of x. We divide by 33, we divide by 33. 33 goes here 1, 33 goes here 1. So we are left with x is equal to 23 over 33. So let's look at this number. Can we re reduce it? Actually, there is no number that can divide through without a remainder. So we leave our answer like this. So x is equal to 23 over 33. Now that we have gotten x, let's solve for y. Solve for y, what we simply do, we say put x equals to 23 over 33 in equation 3. So what it means is that wherever you see x, you're going to be replacing it with 23 over 33. You can use any equation. You can put it in equation 1, 2. I choose to use 3. So let's do it. So we are going to have 18 then times 23 over 33 plus 9y equals to 18. 18 times 23 gives us 414 over 33 plus 9y equals to 18. So the next thing we do, we collect like times. We'll have 9y equals to 18 minus 414 over 33. So we're going to have 9y is equal to, now let's use the short method of finding this. We, go, we do 18 times 33, 9, 4. Then we can say 4, 1, minus 4, 1, 4 times 1, okay? Times 1. We have minus 4, 1, 4 over 1 times 33. So 5, 9, 4 minus 4, 1, 4. We are going to have 0, we have 8, and we have 1. So we have 180 over 33. So we have 9y equals 180 over 33. Now let's cross multiply. We are going to have this times this. We are going to have 33 times 9 gives us 27, right? 7 and carry 2. Then we have 29. So we have 297y equals to 180. Now divide both sides by 297. 297. This goes here 1. This goes here 1. What can go here? Let's use 9. 9 goes here 20. And 9 goes here, 33. So the value of y is y equals to 20 over 33. So it's really simple. We have found the both values for x and y. Let's take another example for further clarity. Okay, so just like the previous question, we need to find the LCM of the denominators. So what's the LCM of 2 and 3? It's 6, okay? So the next thing we do, we use 6 to multiply each term. So we have 6 times, times half x plus 6 times 1 over 3 
y equals to 6 times 4. Okay, so 2 goes here 1, 2 goes here 3. 3 goes here 1, 6 divided by 3, we have 2. And then 6 times 4 gives us 24. Now we have succeeded in eliminating the denominator. Let's express it out. So we are going to have 3 times x gives us 3x. Then we have plus 2 times y gives us plus 2y equals to 24. So this gives us our equation 1. Let's do the same for the second one. So for the second one, we have 4, 3, and 6. We need to find the LCM. So the LCM is 12. 2 times 2 times 3 gives us 12. So we are going to use 12 to multiply each term. So we are going to have 1 over 4y times 12 minus 1 over 3x times 12 equals to 1 over 6 times 12. So we are going to have 4 go here 1, 4 goes here 3. 3 goes here 1, 3 goes here 4. 6 goes here 1, 6 goes here 2. Now we have eliminated the denominators. Let's express it out. 1 times 3 gives us 3. Minus x times 4 gives us minus 4x equals to 1 times 2 gives us 2. So we have equation 2. So now we have gotten to this stage. We can now solve it using elimination method. So now that we have this, you can see this is not properly arranged. So we can rearrange it. We can rewrite the second equation. So let's do that. We simply have 3x plus 2y equals to 24. Then rewriting the second equation, we have minus 4x plus 3y equals to 2. So we still have equation 1 and 2. So the next thing we do is to multiply by 3 and multiply by 2 so that we can equate this. So 3 times 3x gives us 9x. 3 times plus 2y gives us plus 6y equals to 3 times 24 gives us 72. Then here we have 2 times minus 4x gives us minus 8x. 2 times plus 3y gives us plus 6y equals to 2 times 2 gives us 4. So we are going to think what sign can we use? We use the minus sign, okay? So that we can eliminate this. We can get rid of this. So 9x minus minus 8x. 9x minus minus 8x is equal to 9x plus 8x. So this gives us 17x. Then when you say plus 6y minus plus 6y, you're going to have plus 6y minus 6y, which gives you 0. So we have eliminated, we have equals to 72 minus 4 gives us 68. Now, divide both sides by the coefficient of x is 17, 17. 17 goes here 1, 17 goes here 1, 17 goes here 1, 17 goes here 4. So, x is equals to 4. Now that we have found what the value of x, we simply put it in either equation 1 or 2. I choose to use equation 2. So, we are going to have minus 4. So, wherever you see x, you put 4. Open the bracket, plus... 3y equals to 2. Minus 4 times minus 4 gives us minus 16 plus 3y equals to 2. Collecting like terms, we have 3y equals to 2. This comes to the right hand side, becomes plus 16. So we have 3y equals to 18. Divide both sides by 3. 3 goes here 1, 3 goes here 1. 3 goes here 1, 3 goes here 6. So y is equals to 6. So we've succeeded in getting our value of x and y. Okay, let's look at something quite complex. So what do we do here? Let's start with the first one, the first equation. What we do is to multiply by the LCM. The LCM here is 3. We don't need to solve. So we use 3 to multiply each term. So we are going to have 3 times 1 over 3 
equals to 3 times 2. So 3 times 1 over 3, m minus 3, n equals to 3 times 2. So 3 goes here 1, 3 goes here 1. So we are left with 1 times m gives us m. 1 times minus 3n gives us minus 3n equals to 3 times 2 gives us 6. So we've gotten our first equation. Now let's do the same thing for the second one. In the second one, our denominators are 4 and 2. So what's the LCM of 4 and 2? It is 4. So we are going to use 4 to multiply each term. So we are going to say 4 multiplied by n plus n over 4 equals to 4 times half. So 4 goes here 1, 4 goes here 1. So 2 goes here 1, 2 goes here 2. So we're going to have m plus n equals to 2 times 1 gives us 2. So we have equation 2. Now we have gotten this, we can easily solve using elimination method. Now if you look at this question, you notice that the m and m are already equal. So we don't need to multiply by anything. We can simply introduce the minus sign. So you have m minus m is 0. Then minus 3n minus plus n is equal to minus 3n minus n, which is equal to minus 4n. So we have minus 4n equals to 6 minus 2 gives us 4. Divide both sides by the coefficient of n, minus 4, minus 4. This goes here 1, this goes here 1. So, minus 4 goes here 1, minus 4 goes here minus 1. So, we have n is equals to minus 1. The next thing we do, we are going to put minus 1 in either of the equations. So, I'm going to work with equation 1. So, we are going to have m minus 3 minus 1 equals to 6, okay? So we're going to have m minus 3 times minus 1 gives us plus 3 equals to 6. So we have m is equals to 6. This comes to the right-hand side. It becomes minus, minus 3. m is equals to 3. So we've succeeded in getting our answer. So this is what we have today on solving simultaneous equation with fraction if you got value from this video give me a thumbs up would you love to see more videos like this click the subscribe button and then turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i upload contents like this and don't you ever forget math can really really be easy i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching